Let's see how to assemble the newer Celestron telescope. If we were to do that, you'd start off with the tripod. And the tripod on this one usually would have the, the belt attached there at the legs, but it's not here. First thing you do is to get this tension triangle, is what it's called, aligned with the legs here. And I'll do it when it's on the ground here. It's a little bit hard to do. But I just uh, line it up there, lift it upward, and then it sort of fits on the legs. And just tighten this thing down here at the bottom of the telescope, which is hard to do with my hand in the way. So now that's tightened there. This is one of the few things that you tighten a bit on the thing, but not super tight. That's tight enough. But now the tripod is locked in position. Next thing I do with this telescope, take the telescope out of its case, lift it out. This one has handles on either side, and there's a hole in the very center of the base that fits down onto a post. Like it's right here, and I want that to fit on there. This is easier with two people, one supporting weight, and the other one getting that base lined up. We're going to have to peek here. Okay, I've got it there. This telescope doesn't have clutches for uh, that you have to release to change the aim. You just do the aim that way on this one. And I've adjusted them to a particular tension on here and they seem to work pretty well. It's got a front lens cover on here, a uh, couple of little plastic tabs on there. Just use those, rotate counterclockwise, and that pops off. On the back is a uh, just a plastic cover that goes over that, or rubber. And unfortunately, both of these are black, easy to lose in the dark. And so I make sure when I take them off that they go into the telescope case. We may use at times these bolts for attaching the base to the bottom of this thing. If someone wants to use this with the computer alignment feature, we would use those. But most of the time that's not necessary. So if we're just doing uh, control by hand, we don't need those. Now we start putting on the finder scope, uh, the version of the Telrad that goes on here, which is a different manufacturer. And put that thing on first. Uh, this one snaps into a little rectangular plastic case. Uh, this has two tabs on it. One of them is long and the other one's short. The long one goes into the long slot that's on this base. The short one goes into a short slot, but in order to get it to engage, I have to push this little plastic button in here while I'm doing that. And then to get it off, I have to push that little plastic button. So that's something that is special about this one. But I just slide that into there, um, push the button in, and didn't have it quite far enough. Now it's on, so there's that. The finder scope with this one, uh, it's got a just a cap over the eyepiece end of it. Put that in there in the, in the uh, eyepiece case and leave it there. This has a dovetail base like the other one. You can see that shape on there is that's a dovetail shape. And there's a, a base on here that's got a matching part to it. And slide this on here. Okay, until the back of the two parts are flush with each other, so it's a nice flat surface, and just gently finger tighten those things. These screws should not be loose. Most of the time they're not. The only time we ever use those is we'll um, use these front ones on the front ring here, which you can't see very well. This is the front ring. We use these for adjusting the aim of this thing, and uh, that's the only time we use that. So, what's next on this one? We've got almost everything on except the star diagonal and the eyepiece. Here's the star diagonal for this one. It's uh, also called the visual back on here. We leave this assembled the way it is. 
So just take this and screw it onto here, making sure I don't get it cross-threaded. It's only the big ring that I do anything with. And that's on. Now it's ready for an eyepiece. The eyepieces on the side of their cases is the focal length that I've written it all over the place so we can find it easily. Get that out of there. This goes into here. On this telescope, the eyepieces are not held in with friction like they are with the other one. So I have to, it's got two thumb screws here. I very gently tighten those just until they meet resistance. And once I'm at that point, I know the eyepiece won't fall out. So this entire telescope is assembled. And that's about all we have to do to get going for a night of observing. One disadvantage to this telescope is we uh, aim it by nudging and just doing that. And it's not that precisely controlled. The old orange Celestron has a couple of knobs we can use for fine tuning. No such knobs on this one. We could use it with computer control and we sometimes do that, but uh, that's just all we have on this one so far. For disassembling it, I'd start by taking the eyepiece off, gently loosen the thumb screws just a little bit, and this will come right out. Pop that into its case, close up the case, take off the star diagonal, that's the next thing. That's loosened. There's a place in the foam, especially for this. Take this one off by pushing that little plastic button on the back of it. And when that's the case, it just comes off very easily. There's a place in the foam for this. Gently undo the thumb screws holding on the finder scope. Slide that right off the dovetail put on its eyepiece cap on the back of it and there's a place in the foam especially for this thing. We're nearly there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, All we have left is to put this on the back and this goes on the front and there are a couple of parts to this uh, where this tab is winds up with a little bump that's here and there's another tab on the opposite side there's another bump on the opposite side of the telescope down there at the back and I just make sure those are lined up and when that's the case the uh, cover here will slip into place but it's not all the way there I have to do that turn it just a little bit once it's in place and it snaps into place so there, that's assembled. Now, I turned it the wrong direction. Um, rotate it around here. You can tell it's the wrong direction if when it meets up against a stop here that it's not aimed straight down. And I saw that there. So, all I have to do is lift this out of here. put it back in its case and the last thing I would do would be to loosen the tension triangle on here. That's kind of noisy. Drop that off. Not far enough yet. Drop that off. Now I can rotate it and I'd lay this down. I'm not going to try to do this with that on there but I'd thread this through the belt thing and that would be ready to go. So. That's how you assemble and disassemble the new Celestron telescope.